Hello, welcome back to this weird and interesting game. As you can see, we are over here in the... What is this called? Is Blackfell Junction. The crit is actually very easy to get. You just need to get on top of the hospital. And it will be over there. Now let's go down a little deeper. As we have a quest to do. Now this is kind of like a thing I did before the quest, so I don't have to worry about it later. Yeah, this place is disgusting. It's all spiders and webs and explodey stuff. You also have to go through multiple rooms to get to the area you want to get to. See? Mostly you'll be traveling outside of the hospital through this line over there. Yeah. You probably kind of saw the whole pathfinding and also this will be disgusting. Just make spiders, don't worry. I guess before we start the quest we should use some of our items up. And get ready for action. Wait, it's outside of the hospital. Also got better gear and we'll do a little bit of base building after this, but I just wanted to do a quest before I get into the base building stuff. Okay, that's clearly not intended for me to pass through. Well, I say clearly, but again, the problem with the game is the pathfinding most of the time. So Oh, that looks like the place we need to be. Yeah, we'll be doing the base building and some other stuff after this part. We have a nice little sniper rifle. Yes, it's exactly what you think it is. Now, to be honest, it doesn't really matter what item you make, what weapon you make, because it's all about the tier of the weapon, it's all about the type of ammo you use. It's it's a little bit annoying, what can I say, because the items usually should matter a lot more, but nope, not in this game. But the developers, instead of just making a lot of items, or good items, they just made a few items that have different tiers to them. I guess it's okay. Servers seem to be working pretty well today. Wow, they sure love putting stuff in your face. Like, don't play this game during the night, because some of the things they will do will blind you. This is not what I signed up for. Oh wow, it actually shot that me that. I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, maybe the spider is supposed to look normal. Also, I have a fire effect on my rifle, I don't know how or when, I don't care, I just use it. Yeah, this fight might seem easy, but trust me, it's not. If you're under gear like I am right now... I'm barely doing any damage. I have a tier 3 weapon, but looks like I need a tier 4 weapon.
That was supposed to be an item that gives me a shield or something. Okay, that's a bit unfair. I cannot see anything right now because of the way the light works. Well, I dodged that, but... Oh, okay, the weak spots are the things that pulsate on the body of the creature. I'm seeing the spiders in the corner of my eye, but I cannot really react to them fast enough. to reload. Safety first. It just makes this a single player game, it would have been amazing. Kind of intense, kind of I'm a little bit under leveled and as you can see there's a weird bug in this game where your activators just decide to do whatever they want and split up and when you're using one of them you might decide to split up into the much much smaller stack. It's obviously annoying and disruptive. What? No loot, no treasure, no nothing? There was something shiny over there. I guess it's not a treasure. Now, this is not the actual dungeon. This is just kind of like the rehearsal of the dungeon because many of the things you see over here. Let's escape to leave the dungeon. Yeah. It's like the Trent dungeon. You do the dungeon as a quest, but it's not actually the full dungeon. It's not as hard as it would be, but you just do it as a quest to see how it is. It's kind of a nice concept, but. A lot of the buildings, a lot of the locations, a lot of the stuff would start to repeat themselves. So the hospital you saw over here was the hospital we first visit when we started playing. So yeah, they are using the same models, but I guess it's okay for the purpose of the game. A hot dog? Who? I'm not sure what this settlement is showing me as locked. I don't think I have to do something else to unlock it. I don't know. There are many mechanics in this game that don't make sense, that are weird, that I don't know. I think the main problem is that this game is a nightmare to balance because you will have people that want PvP, you will have people that want PvE, you will have people that want events, open world events, you will have people that want dungeons, you will have people that want instances. What's the difference between an instance and a dungeon? Well, I guess the dungeon is going to be a smaller adventure with the boss at the, end, at the end and an instance will be kind of like a special area you can enter a limited amount of times or only one group can enter, I don't know. I teleported back, I teleport over here and then we lose the motorcycles. As you can see this is the amount of backtracking sometimes you have to do. Now I could have walked there but it would have taken me about 10 minutes maybe.
Yeah, maybe we should follow the road. Let's follow the road for once. So the game does get a lot better, but it's super slow just because of the way the unlocks work. So you might find the blueprints for a better gun, a better gun. Well, let's say you find the blueprints for this, this sniper rifle. What do you do? Are you happy? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes and no, because even though the weapon is better from certain aspects, it doesn't have enough damage or it doesn't do as much damage as the other rifle did. And you also need a lot of materials to craft it. Plus, you also need a lot of materials to repair it because it will get damaged over time as well. So yeah, it's it's a lot of management and some wait. I don't... Yeah, I'm going the right way. A lot of management and it's a lot of maintaining your equipment and it's also a lot of maintaining your character basically. As you can see, it always is. I don't know if this will be in the full game or how it will work, but as you can see, you always have the sanity debuff active on your character. Ah, it's only a flesh wound. So it did cause a lot of damage to the motorcycle. <laughs> Not much. Okay. The bar beneath the fuel one is the health one. But yeah, when you pass through certain areas or near certain areas, your sanity will drop considerably, so you'll most likely never be at full health. You can try and use a lot of consumables, but as you can see, they don't really help that much since... Well, basically everything in this game will reduce your sanity. And they still haven't fixed T Man over here, which is. Oh, hey. You know, it's been a minute since my life was in danger. So, got any jobs for me? But of course. Our client this time match. is a Mr. Gene Sheckley, whose husband, Robert oh. Wolf, was brutally murdered by a deviant while out for. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. What's that? He wants us to capture. No, nothing like that. It's simply that while it's only been less than a week, our friend Gene still hasn't paid for the bounty, but don't trouble yourself with that. Even if Mr. Sheckley has... Okay, let's get a new bounty then. So yeah, this could have been so easily a single player game and it would have been probably the best single player game out of nine. Oh, so we have... Hmm... That's a level 32 one. Has me very concerned. I mean, we'll try to do it, but... It already seems kind of a bit of a stretch. Now, the level only determines what equipment you can equip. Well, let's just say what equipment you can use then. <laughs> so it doesn't sound weird. But that's going to be another problem, because even though you will farm a lot, you might not be even able to be... That. What? Okay, let's let's say that again. Even if you farm a lot, you will not be able to use the equipment you get. If you can have two of those, I guess you can have two of those. That I'm losing track of what I'm trying to say just because the game is exactly as you see it. It's so weird with these things. So even if you farm, let's say, 100 hours in a certain location, you might not be able to use the equipment if you don't have the level or if you don't have the required buildings or if you don't have the required mimetics to unlock the thing. You're supposed to build or you're supposed to build it with i don't know it, it's interesting it's interesting but i'm really afraid for the balance of the game i'm really afraid for the pay to win aspect of the game as you seem to have a lot of events and a lot of other stuff this would have been an amazing game this is basically all of the AAA games combined that have a little bit of a supernatural feeling to them including zombies and some other stuff Yeah, some people might say this is almost like Death Stranding with a mix of zombies and some other stuff, but instead of delivering packages, you deliver death. Why do I keep hitting those? Get some berries and let's go. So yeah, he does have a lot of good things going for it. But overall, it just feels so weird because I... You can get stuff from the camp, you can get stuff from adventuring, I don't know. You can basically upgrade your character a thousand ways, but most of them involve RNG. That over there. Oh, it's another motorcycle. <laughs> 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 
don't leave it in the middle of the road. I don't think you can damage another player's motorcycle if you hit it. I think it only takes damage if you hit it against something or if it falls underwater or stuff like that. Yeah, so let's see how this will go for us. It also has... Yeah, like I said, it has mechanics from every game sometimes. It also has that new world camp style system where you can just put down your camp anywhere you like and your base will be very far away. Most people that are playing the game right now are around level 25 or something like that. I've not been playing a lot, but believe me, it's very hard to level up. I guess we'll attempt it. And it's obviously so much faster if you're playing with someone else, but at the same time, oh, maintaining someone else's stuff while you're playing the game would be a nightmare as well. But not for the reasons you think, it's just a nightmare to... Ew. Zombie with a pistol. Probably better to use the pistol in this case. Oh shoot, I surrender. I don't like when those enemies spawn off of the ground like that. Because most of the time they spawn around you in your blind spot. I should make more of the mush grill mushrooms, but I'm a bit lazy. And believe it or not, most of the time we'll be fighting the same enemy, which is that enemy over there. There's also one of the more annoying ones, because it can just appear in your flank and throw stuff at you. Why looting is nice? Wait, how are you supposed to? Oh, okay. This is another problem that developers should address. It's so hard sometimes to see the doors you can open because 99% of the doors you cannot open. Still don't know what half of these things do, but hey. I still don't know what the access cards do. Again, you just have a lot of content that, depending on how the balance is made, will either be relevant or not. And I think most of the content will not be relevant from what I can see. Because you can clearly just go to the highest level area and then get better gear and then just level up by farming and then sadly, I don't know. You'll have to go back to the low level. That thing. And then go back to the lower level areas just to find the cradle points. Or the memetics needed to unlock stuff. Also, from what I saw, you have a huge garage, where you have a small garage, a medium-sized garage, and then you have a big one, which will probably be for a truck, a semi-truck, that will allow you to move your base from one area to the other. I don't have this area, so let's try and clean it up. I wish they would use more of the, of the powers. 
Also, this gun has so much gunpowder. Well, I guess it has so much smoke coming out of the gun that when you shoot it, you'll not be able to see anything for a split second while scoped. I guess I put a mod on it that causes fire damage or something, I don't know. Now, so in case you're wondering how the experience is, well, normally I would get about 25 experience for an enemy in the 20, 20-ish level area. Here I'm getting a lot more. What am I doing? Where am I going? I have no idea. This is the first time I'm visiting this place and it's already confusing. This is the right place. <laughs> Hello? Patient rooms are not marked. Madman. At least that's an oversight from the developers. That's what I mean, could have been an amazing single player game, or at least, I don't know, don't make it server based, just make it, everyone plays on the same place and they can join other instances like this where they can PvP or do some other stuff, I don't know, what a like wasted opportunity. Rainfall Ripple is actually one of the strongest edits you can encounter just because it will damage you quite consistently. Also, this is how those things look. I don't know what's killing me. This is so silly. This is what I mean about the game. Yeah, I'm already dead again. There's nothing you can do. It's the balance of the game that is so messed up just because is this single player, multiplayer, co-op or whatever. It says Yeah, whatever, Rainfall Keeper. That was the umbrella of that guy. I guess this is what I mean, that Reaper Rainfall guy, Reaper is your worst enemy if you cannot kill him because he just don't make it visible enough. My equipment lost a lot of durability. I should have been paying closer attention to my gear. Ah, I have to go outside and repair everything again. Probably because I'm taking too much damage. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess we'll not do this one in this video. Sorry about that. It's just the way the game works. I just have to farm more and more and more to do simple dungeons. But, uh, well, might be a little bit above my level, but... Still... I don't know, this is definitely a game I would enjoy, but I don't think many people will enjoy it just because of all of these aspects. That I'm showing you. I'm definitely taking more damage because I don't have enough. But my armor is not enough. I suspect the enemies were spawning a lot more often than they should have been spawning. Efficient. Oh, what? Okay, game, I understand, but you don't understand anything, yeah. What was that supposed to be? Uh... I have no idea where the boss is, well, I guess that was the entire point of the area, or was it? I guess we can go back and check, see? <laughs> I'm not saying they should make everything more obvious, but man, throw, throw the players a bone. At least give us a hint of what you want us to do. Okay, I think this was just an intermediary level or something to show us that will be fine. I think something is supposed to come out of that screen. Kill boss. I'm trying to kill the boss if I can find the boss. Nice room and all, but I cannot be sitting here just coloring stuff. I need to kill something, I guess. Judging by the way it just pushes me out of the area, I think I'm done with this area. So let's search for another pathway to the boss. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. This my little guy is happy over there. Look at him. All googly eyes. Maybe the boss is supposed to be over here and that's just kind of like an introduction. Else. Is where you use the access cards. Yeah, I, I smelled more loot. We had to get a 
frying pan. What is this? PUBG. Those things. Well, also I cannot leave now since I started the raid. Seeing more enemies. That looked like a pistol, but it was not a pistol. No microwave oven. Oh, okay. Is it all? I guess the silos are supposed to be more or less single player one. I don't know. Eh, let's keep trying. And yeah, this is what I mean by an instance. This is definitely an instance. Good doing that. Yeah, but then they just spawn trash mobs on me. That gets back looks like it will. Yeah, fuck, come on, really? As you can see, it's like remnant all over again. There's no boss fight, there's only minion fight. The boss itself is probably super easy to destroy. You can even land a hit on it. Yeah, that's the whole boss fight. Yeah, I really need better armor. Open weapons is also a problem. Kind of cool. Mm -hmm. 
was almost dead. I'm drink some refreshing boiled water. Get an attack angle on it. Oh, wow, it's just continuously spewing stuff at me. I don't think I'll make it out alive. Please, please, please. Reload faster. Wow. Yes, this is the loot from the boss itself, which is not much, you get a plunger for killing a boss, come on, it's Looney Tunes all over again. You also have to secure the quest with the controllers, which are limited. And this is where you get most of the loot from. Ooh. The dungeon was not very easy, I just didn't have enough... I just didn't have any equipment ready to fight. Still don't know what's wrong over here with the teleport. You should be able to teleport to that one. But I guess there's no teleportation tower nearby anyway. Yeah. Great concept, but I don't imagine I'll be enjoying this game if I if the servers will just reset at some point. Or how fast the progression is. They, they would have to slow down the progression by about 90%. So Imagine you're playing the game, but only progressing 10, at 10% 10 the speed of the current uh, close beta. I wanted to pick that orange. Okay, that was interesting. So, oh man, yeah, time flies when you're playing this game because you're actually, you're actually managing more than you're playing. And you need to collect so many materials. I guess you can survive only one on what the game gives you and just using the resources. For example, instead of making the injectors, you can go and buy them, but they are limited from the settlements. I guess you can get them from events as well, I don't know. It's just very hard to understand all of the concepts of the game if you're going to play it for less than, I don't know, let's say 50 hours. Where's this thing over here? Oh, it's a player built house. Well, sorry. You need to learn how to finish your houses. That screams... Fix it, fix it. Well, I guess you wanted to leave that portion out for light, but you probably could have put down a window. Also need to fix this fence over here. Yeah, that was a pretty hard raid, considering everything. What is my reward? Please just give me something interesting. It gives me the same stuff. Rosetta created a mania. Even I was shocked when. Who's the client? It's Jim Chandler. Once he started investigating, once he determined. I was brave of him, but. Alas. The Alas. Oh, okay. Forget. Oh. You need to read the computer stuff. It's like you're in Mission Impossible over here. This is another hive challenge. This one looks like it's easier. Because it's in a village, it's not in a dungeon, it's not in a silo. Interesting.
Wait, I didn't actually finish that quest with hot dog <laughs> because I got distracted by this one. Yeah, I guess that's everything we needed to do and that bottom level over there was just to get that loot and get away. Ah, this is the life, reading newspapers at candlelight, enjoying... But I hope that's mineral water with... Eh, maybe some Coca-Cola. One of those fancy cola that you can buy. By the way, Hot Dog, I went to the old hospital. The hospital? That keeps appearing in everyone's dreams? Your gut's not wrong. There was a great one hidden there. Using... So, all the dreams everyone's been having here... That's right. They were bait to lure you to the hospital. And once enough of you were in its web, that's when it would... Feast. These past couple months? Man. They really but you managed to save them all. And now he just wants me to control the rift anchor of the five iron river. Anyway, he just wants you to do five iron rift anchors. And from the looks of it, this is the only one that I didn't do. So I guess we have... I'll have to go over there and do those two, but as you can see, they're perfectly aligned for me to do two of these, the tower, and of course the quest over there. Well, I guess that would be the perfect opportunity to show you next time what I can do. So next time it will just be base building and also those two locations. Sadly, I think I'll have to use a... I don't know, I'll have to look at a video or something. I forgot to claim my reward. Yeah, most of the stuff it's... It's very inconsequential. I mean, the loot you get from this quest is basically nothing because you're just going to get more and more materials that you'll be using to either buy some things or do some other things with them. But the blueprints you get from finishing locations and looting the chests. And usually the chests are so well hidden that you need to use a guide to find them. I mean, use see where you can find them. This is the current state of my base. It's not very well developed yet. I have solar power. I guess these things work even during the night. As it says, they have a, a X amount of supply. Huh. These guys are working for me. Yeah, I'm not sure what that potion does. Do it again. Nothing, I don't see anything. See next time, bye bye. Oh yeah, I need to manually shut down the recording. As the game is very weird.